Good morning everybody, it's Heidi with the Weathered Fence Post and welcome to our channel. My husband Steve and I are resellers in the Raleigh Garner, North Carolina area. Currently we do not sell online because we have full-time jobs and we would just be too busy to manage it properly. So what we do have are two booths. One is located at Antiques at Gresham Lake in North Raleigh and one is located at Collective Treasures in Garner. And if you're ever in the Raleigh Garner area, we would love for you to stop in and visit the Weather Fence Post booth in either of those locations. The, both locations have stores that are full of great vendors and all kinds of stuff. So you, you, it wouldn't be a waste of your time. You would really enjoy it. What we love to do on this channel is to take you out hunting with us and then go over the haul, all the items that we found. Now lately we've been going over a series called the Collector's Estate Sale Series. And I think we're up to, if the next video will be like a part six on that series. I've debated today what one I wanted to do, whether I wanted to continue with that today for this video or I did go, Steve and I actually went to an estate sale yesterday. Didn't get a lot of footage there, but I did get some. So I think I'm gonna go over that, that estate sale, and all the items that we found there. So let's first go out to the estate sale. And just to let you know, again, I didn't get a lot of footage because it was really, really crowded. It was a townhome. It wasn't a full-size house. And it was just very difficult to film. I mean, it was a lot of like this going on, trying to squeeze through with bags and everything. And a lot of the stuff was gone. This house in the pictures was packed full of great collectible items and so I was pretty excited about going, but the house was pretty empty out, which was surprising to me because the day before on Saturday it had rained terrible and I thought people wouldn't show up. But like all of the furniture had been sold, a lot of the really great collectible pieces had been sold and the ones that were left were pretty high priced and even at the 50% point, we weren't going to be able to pick them up. So we did get some items. We'll go over those, but let's go out to the estate sale for the little bit of footage I did get. Good morning, fellow treasure hunters. We are headed into a estate sales. When I say we, Steve and I, Steve's with me today. We decided to take today off, not run to the booths and go to this estate sale. Go check it out. looks like there was a lot of great stuff. Um, online. This is the this is Sunday, so it's supposed to be I think 50% off day. I see people loading up furniture. It must be pieces they bought yesterday. I was actually looking at that piece that he's loading right now. It's a nice piece. Anyway, we're gonna go check it out. See what we gotta sign up, or if we gotta wait in line, what we gotta do. We're a little early. This is cute. And I think that would be really cute to put a tree in. How much that is? 32. So that would be a little bit too much. I think this is a set of three owls. This basket's nice. Size basket. Purses or something I want to look at. This one right here. Come on, fingers work. You might not find anything here today. This is gorgeous though. Now see something like this. this yeah, that's that's pretty spectacular. And that would be $21. It comes with the greenery, the, I guess it's a candle or it's a wooden candle. They're pretty, pretty cool. Alright, let's see that. Wedding dress. Mm -hmm. 
place has been pretty picked over. See if we can find anything. Check out these quilts that are up here. I think a lot of them have already been grabbed. There's some artwork. Thirty-eight. It's a tablecloth. This is one hundred and eighty dollars, so it would be ninety. Is, is this a grow station? I mean, it looks like it, right? Hmm. too much yep. even on sale <laughs> I think I might also go over some items I picked up at a barn sale that I went with Joanne at bat with bat thrift bat thrift crazy sorry Joanne uh, we went to a barn sale not this past weekend but the weekend before and I have a few items to go over there if we have time we'll get to those too but let's go over the things I found at that estate sale we just went to something just very simple but these are nice to to have in your booth. This has never been used. Full size candle. Uh, this is a TL True Living is what it says on it and it's vanilla chai, snickerdoodle donut, and apple cinnamon. Thought it was nice winter aromas so I went ahead and picked that up. This piece was the only glass piece I think there were several glass pieces at that sale that I really was hoping to get, but they were mostly gone. And this one, again, it, the price was a little bit high on it, but I went ahead with it. I would like the uh, like thumb imprint look to it. It's a recycled glass piece. Um, authentic recycled glass. It's from Spain. That is the tag on the bottom. It's kind of got like, you know, like this powdery look to it. So I thought that was really, really, really pretty. And could go with any season, really. This could go with any season. So went ahead with that vase. I do always pick up these Pimpernels whenever I see them. They're not a quick seller, but they do sell in the booth. And this set is full. And this is actually, um, it's got the little Santa on the top of the tree. Oh, what's the name of that? I know what it is. I have these <laughs> items at Christmas in my booth, so I will put the name up here because my brain is not pulling it out of memory like it should. Oh, getting older is just so much fun, isn't it? But a nice set of Pimpernel um, coasters that will do really well. This cute little guy, he's a little stone turtle. I thought he was really cute, and I've really been trying to determine if he has a crack here or if that's just a vein from the stones. I don't feel anything but it goes all the way around so I'm trying to figure figure out if it's a really good repair job or if it's just that there's a vein that happens you know from the stone that happens to go that direction which would be odd or maybe that's just the way he was made maybe maybe he wasn't carved from one piece of stone I don't know either way 
even if it is a break, it's a really good repair. It's hard to tell, and I just think he's a cute little stone turtle. This guy I really love. I just think he's adorable. He's like a concrete. He's for outdoors, little garden snail. I love him. I think he's so cute. And they kind of put this out at the last minute. I was in the checkout line, and he wasn't there on the table before. And all of a sudden, he was on the table. Either that or somebody decided against him. But, oh, I thought he was adorable. So I grabbed him. And then this little Humpty Dumpty stone piece. I think I'm going to talk to my sister down in Florida about this piece because she had asked for a Humpty Dumpty piece that was a vintage... Um, uh, ornament and it had already sold by the time I got back to the booth for her to pick that up so I found this and she does a lot of gardening so maybe she would enjoy this piece I'm gonna talk to her about that did try to find a, there was some Easter in the pictures and I was trying to get there to get the Easter and we were there early we were there a half an hour early and we were still number 25 and 26 in line that was the other thing that like I said it was packed and even when I was leaving we, we had already been there probably an hour even when I was leaving there were still tons of people in line trying to come in and there just wasn't a lot of stuff left so they were going to probably be a little disappointed cute little bunny he's not a vintage piece it says it made in Indonesia little bunny probably a little egg holder is what he is thought he was adorable and then this piece here is pretty I'll put that away for Christmas next year. It's an acorn, a great big glass acorn with sparkly, a sparkly top and kind of like a mercury glass look to the bottom. And then I picked this up. I thought this, you know, I'm going to give this a try. I probably could pick these up about anywhere. For some reason, I this just, I don't know if it was one of those like I was in line and it was there. It was like one of those candy grabs, you know, when you're in the grocery store and you're in line and you grab a piece of candy. That might have been what happened here. I don't know. I just thought I really liked this. This is, I think, a cracker holder. I believe it's for cracker or, or small breads holder. Uh, but this could be used for other things. You, you could use this to hold makeup pieces, you know, all your little compact pieces or anything, really. Any type of little tray. You could put it in your bathroom and hold small hand towels or washcloths in it. There's all kinds of ways you can use pieces like this. Loved this piece. And I'm not sure if I'm going to include this. I haven't edited the video yet, so I'm not going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to include me trying to get this piece down. I might. But this was up in the window behind a uh, a blind. Didn't have a price on it, and I figured it must be for sale. So I pulled up the blind and pulled it out and took it to the register, and they priced it for me. And I just love it. Beautiful stained glass piece. Now it does not have any type of way to hang. It. So it would be something you would just have to prop up in your window like they had it propped up. Or you could have, um, if you have a solder gun, you could solder a piece to it and uh, hang it. But either way, I just think it's fantastic. I love it. And a sampler is always a staple. It's, it's classic. You can't go wrong whenever you pick up a sampler piece. And I just really, really love the size of this pillow. It's just a small little pillow that you would tuck in a side chair or on your bed, but I just think it's really, really pretty, the work on it. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This, I, there's no brand name on it that I could find. I don't know if it's handmade or not, but I just really love the look of it. It's really beautiful. The colors are great on it, and it's got like a really silky, satiny finish to it. Nice quilting on it. Again, I could not find, uh, there was no price on it either. So she had to price it at the register. But the inside's in good condition. Just a great little travel tote. Uh, just, you know, I think somebody's gonna really enjoy this. I like it, I think it's beautiful. Look at this next piece, I think this is fantastic. I saw this in the pictures and I was actually hoping it would be there. And we'll see. This is one of those pieces I have no idea how it's going to do in the booth. I do. We do sell some um, vintage items in our booths, even just nice clothing pieces. We don't have a big section for it, but we do usually have about, I don't know, maybe eight pieces in there at a time. And I just, I fell in love with this. This, what does this remind you all of? I mean, come on. 
Isn't this not fantastic? Look at the colors in this and the design on this. This is just screaming the 90s to me. It is made in the USA. It's a Ralphie, R-O-F-F-E. It's a ski, it's a ski jacket, but it's really, you know, it's, it can, it's a puffer jacket. That's what it is. It says made in the USA and it's like puffer material. It's fantastic. I love the look of it. The colors, I, I don't know. I got a feeling that this is going to be flying off the rack. I do. I think somebody's just going to come in and be like, oh my gosh, look at that great vintage jacket. And it's in excellent condition. Excellent condition. I love it. So I was real happy that this was still there and I was able to get this. Again, I, we always, uh, we hardly ever buy anything new. We're mostly able to find everything that we need at estate sales, flea markets, out, you know, we're out thrifting for stuff. So I had just told Steve a couple weeks ago, I need a rain jacket. I don't, it's, there's been a lot of rain going on here and we're giving, we're, again, tomorrow we're gonna get hit with a whole bunch of rain. And I don't have like a proper rain jacket. And there was one at this sale. So I was really excited. It's a Nautica and it fits great. I love it perfect jacket for me it's got the hood so i'll be nice and safe from the rain tomorrow when it hits so i was really excited i got a it got a nautica jacket rain jacket for twelve dollars and fifty cents can't complain about that in good condition no issues with it this little hat rolls up into the collar like rain jackets do and you can see the emblem on the back so i was very happy about it Picked up these great hot dog roasters for the fire. This is a great time of year. A lot of people start sitting out, out back with their fires because it's finally getting chilly and cold here in North Carolina. So a lot of people do outdoor fires and you can cook you up some hot dogs or sausages or whatever you want to spear on this thing. <laughs> but it's nice and long so you don't have to worry about being close to the fire. I thought it was a pretty good pickup. Kind of liked it and they do come apart they unscrew for storage and just a little tip not that you guys maybe already don't know this now they had these stored up in a closet and they were just covered covered in tape masking tape and packing paper and stuff to protect people from the sharpness here you could just cut some uh, wine corks in half and just stick them right on top there that's a great way to keep people safe from the the prongs and the last thing that we picked up was just some functional items. I do, whenever we go to an estate sale, look for those things. There were some Swiffer replacement pads to pick up and some Old English. Uh, there was in the, in the picture some great big boxes of Ziploc bags and I was hoping to grab those, but they had already gone. Estate sales on that last day, that 50% off day, if there's home goods like that, pick them up. You know, it's cheaper than going out and buying them. All right, now let's go over the barn sale. Let's get into that. I've got a little bit to do there. I don't have a whole lot of time, so we'll move through it kind of quickly, but at least I can show you some of the things we picked up there. I didn't get any footage. It was on January 1st, believe it or not, New Year's Day. I went to a barn sale with Joanne from Bat Thrift Crazy. Like, we are crazy. What are we doing on New Year's Day going to a barn sale? Well, we went to it because it was the last day. They were doing it three days. It was the last day. And they were saying like, fill up your trunk for 10 bucks or five bucks, fill up your back seat for 10. Yeah, fill the trunk for five, fill up your back seat for 10. We didn't quite understand that because we thought the trunk actually, you could fit more in it. And you know, like the trunk of my truck is really the bed of my truck. It's a six foot bed. I could have filled that thing up for five bucks. But we went and it had been pretty picked over, but we still found items. So make sure you go over to her channel and check out to see what she found. She was so excited when we left there. She was almost jumping up and down with joy because she found some pretty neat stuff. One thing being this really cool bench and she got all of it for five bucks because we filled my, the back seat of my truck and we just split the cost. So it was 10 bucks to fill the back seat. I picked up a really pretty long pine Christmas tree. I'm not going to drag that up from downstairs because I've already, I've actually got the Christmas put away from the booths. Didn't take me a week and a half like I thought it was going to. It took me a full day. I spent all day Saturday doing it. It was rainy and I just worked all the entire day as soon as my feet hit the floor until probably midnight, getting it all put away, but it's done. I have, you know, some straggler items that I have to still show you from 
the uh, collector's estate sale that are going to go in, but I've made space for those to come in after I'm done showing them to you. So anyway, here are some really cute Christmassy uh, napkins in really good condition. There's a whole set of six. So everything I'm about to show you, I got for $5, which includes that long pine Christmas tree. It's really pretty. I really, really like that long needle Christmas tree. It's a unique look. And it was a nice size. It was probably a four foot tree. I love this. This is perfect for this time of year. The color's fantastic. I love this color. And this is cashmere, 100% cashmere in excellent, excellent condition. And it just feels divine. Somebody's gonna love this. Again, all of this for $5. This is the kind of sale that makes up for the sale that Steve and I went to. So when you're figuring out your average cost per item over the year, and you're trying to figure out if you're making money or not, if you wanna average it out, sometimes these type of sales help you make up for when you have to pay a little bit more for something. This was a cute little scarf. I liked this one because it had butterflies on it. And butterflies always, always find a home. People love butterflies and mushrooms. And this one was, let's see, this one I think was made in Switzerland. 100% cotton made in Switzerland. Let's get that tag up there for you to see. But really pretty. Again, nice piece for the spring. So we'll get that in the booth. And we, we went right from Christmas and we just switched it right to spring. A little bit of Valentine's is in there. I don't think I'm going to do the winter blues for our booth. I think I'm going to go sliding right into spring and just the regular non-seasonal seasonal collectible items that we always have in our booth. And we're doing good. We had a really, really good day down at Collected Treasures yesterday. So um, if you're watching this YouTube channel and you happen to be the person or persons that was in there shopping yesterday thank you for supporting our booth because we really do appreciate it we had some wonderful pieces find new homes yesterday uh two of those being from that estate sale one was the really pretty fitz and floyd piece that gorgeous gorgeous wagon with the goat pulling it if you've been watching the channel you know which one i'm talking about and the other one was that marionette doll i really loved that piece picked up a couple or a couple a set of uh earmuffs Really cute. Got a nice cute little design on, nice and soft and fuzzy. This was interesting. This is just a vintage, it says welcome home. I don't know if anybody's gonna be interested in it, but I thought, or it says welcome back, not welcome home, welcome back. I, I just thought it was kind of neat. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I won't be putting a big price on this, but it is vintage. And it just is a nice sign that says, welcome back. So I grabbed that. Hey, for five bucks for everything, why not give it a try? See what happens. You might be surprised. I could just put it in the booth. It says, welcome back to our booth. All right, these, I didn't see. There is a tag on one of them, but it's hard for me to read where they're from. But they are glass because there was some broken ones in there. <laughs> so I cleared those out and there's three different colors. We've got green, purple, and red. Really like the look of these. Very pretty. And there's a set of seven. Kind of an oddball set, but there were some that were broken. So we'll tuck those away for christmas next year and this too we'll tuck this away for christmas next year also a set of shiny glass ornaments the whole set is there and i think these were from gastonia if i remember correctly yeah they're made in the u.s in gastonia north carolina nice multicolor set that's complete so we'll put that away for christmas can't even remember now what i got <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a pretty good find. Found this in the bottom of a box. Really pretty beaded vintage purse. And it does appear that all the beads are there. I thought maybe there was some damage here, but it's not. The beads are all there. It's just that you're seeing the, 
the silk of the uh, casing of the purse itself coming through and it's a brown silk color. Hey, we've got some pins in there. Comes with some pins. People always had pins in their purse. And it does say handmade in Hong Kong. Right there. Does not come with the little mirror. Maybe I can get one off Joanne. I know she has several, but she probably wouldn't give them up because she has to have them for her purses. But anyway, it, it's just beautiful. Again, all of this for $5. A fan with its box. It's one of the wooden fans. Very pretty. I was just checking to see how good they work. It does work good. I carry a collapsible fan in my purse and it's, it's, it collapses down quite small because when I'm out hunting and if it's starting to get hot, I just pop that fan out and I use it. I mean, these things are great to have. All right, let's see. Um, I don't pick up a lot of decorative plates, but I do occasionally. I did pick this one up. I liked the subject matter on it. It's still life. Looks like it's a bottle of wine maybe, or could be oil and vinegar, I don't know. And some fruit in a bowl. I liked the look of it. I do not know what the emblem indicates. It could just say made in Japan. It could say made in Hong Kong. It could say left in. I don't know. I can't read it. It's Blurred out. Blurred out. Blur. A set of three of these. I looked and looked and looked for the fourth one. Could not locate it. This is by Cera, C-E-R-A. And these are vintage um, rock glasses. And anytime we have these in the booth at Christmas, they sell. We sold several this year. We also have a set of our own at home that we use. I like these with just the big bow. Really pretty. So I, have, I did find three of those. A simple little solid brass frame it says that it's made in Korea but it's nice and small in good condition and brass I, I can't say it enough times I say it on this channel all the time it's it's just a no-brainer for us it doesn't last long usually within the week that I place it it's gone out of the booth brass is a very hot item in our booth I don't know what you call these they're Indian I believe I just love the look of them. Love the design. It's kind of made out of like a cardboard material and a metal. This is like a metal. There's probably a specific name for these. And uh, maybe Dell could let me know. You're very good at finding out things like that for me. Um, and then here's another one, a bigger one. And what I'll do with these, I love the colors on these and the design work on these. What I will do with these is I will set these like on a back shelf that's dark in our booth, a shelf that maybe needs some lightening up and draw some attention to it. I won't be putting a big price on them because they're not in perfect condition. There's a little bit of damage there. And I'm not sure, you know, well, I, I think these really look good in a boho decor too with all the coloring. But anyway, I will put them in the back of a booth to kind of brighten up the back of a booth and draw people's eye into that, not a booth, back of a shelf. Oh my goodness. I, you know, I had my caffeine this morning. I don't know what the issue is. The brain's just not working right. It is Monday morning, so give me that. Give me that. Give me oh, this that. really beautiful locket in the bottom. I guess you would call it a locket. I don't know if I would wear it. It's pretty heavy, but... It's like designed like a locket in the bottom of a box. And it's really great. I just love it. Those are just pictures that they have in there. But the inside even has design on it. I think it's really fantastic. And that's what it looks like opened in the back. Really love that. And this would be great for this booth, this time of year in the booth because it's romantic, you know, for Valentine's. It has that romantic look to it. This guy needs cleaning, and I'm debating, getting a lot of glare there, I'm debating whether I want to hold this until Christmas. I'm going to turn this off so you can see it without the glare. Here we go. Hold it until Christmas. It really looks like a Christmas piece, but those are roses and a bow, so I don't know. It's really beautiful. You know what? I mean, a tree would look great in this. A Christmas tree would look beautiful in this. But, it, you know, it's a planter. It needs cleaning. But... It, I don't know. Can't decide on this if I want to put it in now. If I do, I would love to find some type of plant or tree or something that 
would go in the spring that I could put in this to, to highlight it. But this would look good with a Christmas tree in it. Perfect with a Christmas tree. Okay, you have no clue what this is. It says Made in Japan on it. There's a little tag right there that says Made in Japan. It has this chain with this hook on it that's attached to this top piece. Now, I'm not going to pull this out because it's kind of cumbersome to get it back down in there, but this piece pulls out that sits in this, like, holder here. I have an idea what this is, but I'm going to ask you guys and to put in the comments what you think it might be. I haven't researched it yet. I've got an idea. I'm guessing what it might be, but if you pull this chain, it does this. So I think I know what it is, but I want to see what you all think. I don't know, know why this is on the front. I've been trying to figure out what that, why that would be there, other than just a design thing. But that's what it does. Tell me what you think. Last couple of items and then I gotta run. This was like a stained glass piece. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a chalky material. There were several of these and I just picked this up for myself to use in my garden. So I'll be putting that in my garden. And then I picked up these and I did pay a little bit more for these. I paid a dollar a piece for these books. So these were outside the $5. I paid five alone for these books. But the book holder was part of the other $5. So these are all Reader's Digest. Their covers are beautiful. I'm not gonna show you every one of them, but just the design work on the covers is just gorgeous. I love the coloring in them. I tried to pick ones that were, there were several there, and I tried to pick out the best conditioned ones and ones that I thought would go nice in the booth right now. Look at this one, I like the design on that. These are from the, I think they were from the 60s, the mid 60s, I think was the date on these. All in very good condition. So I will be putting these up at Antiques at Gresham Lake, maybe, a, maybe one or two at Collected Treasures. But I do have somebody I know that loves these, so at Gresham, so I think I'll be putting them there, give her first choice on them. So that's it for the estate sale and the barn sale. Wasn't that a lot of stuff for five bucks? That's why, you know, we were just hooting and hollering and just excited <laughs> leaving that sale. Man, did we get some deals there. I just had to try it on. <laughs> I'm off to the ski slopes, folks. <laughs> Until we see you next time, get out there, find yourself a treasure, put a great big smile on your face, Help rehome things. Keep them out of the dumps. There's so much great vintage stuff out there to find and put in your homes. Look at this fabulous jacket somebody's going to own. This is great. This thing is fantastic. It's in perfect condition. I can't wait to get this to the booth. We'll see you on the next video, everybody.